Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're looking at OpenShell. Last time I did a video on this was a couple years ago, and it was called Classic Start. This will allow you to change your start menu, and one of the cool things you can do is make it look like Windows 7. So let's take a look at the program here. I've got it ready to install, and you can find a link to this page in the video right about here somewhere. There should be a letter I. You click on that, you can jump through or check the video description to jump to this page and download it. All right. Accept your license terms, as always, go slow. Let's stop here. Let's take Classic Explorer out. And as you can see, it adds a toolbar. And it, it does fix some stuff with it, but you probably don't need it for, that's up to you. Classic IE, get that out of there. Internet Explorer is dead. We got the menu, which is what we're really looking for for the purpose of this video, and the update so that your program can be updated as needed. Create a start menu folder, it's up to you. Go next and click install. There you go. Now, here's the cool thing. As soon as you click start, there it is. It pops right up for you so you can make the changes. Now, if you don't like what you've done and you just wanna go back, you can uninstall the program. Piece of cake. So you can replace the start button, check it out. See that? Classic and custom put your own image in there that's really really cool and there's a couple of advanced button options here as you can see nothing too major all right let's play around so there you can see it working as a default that's how you're going to end up looking if you want and there is changing right back so we can go to settings and as you can look at all this stuff i won't waste 10 minutes going through it all but really quick, controls, a main menu, general behavior, search box, the menu look, where you change the icons, fades, skins, languages, of course, sounds, context menu stuff, customize your start menu. Windows 10 settings, it's just this one. Open Windows start menu on monitor with the mouse. Check that out, opacity. Is that how you say that? Opacity? Opacity? Yeah. That's got to be the word I'm going to get stuck on today. And if you didn't like that start button, there you go. Let's go over here and look at this. Now, here's your Windows 7 style. Again, that's the default because people tend to look to change back to Windows 7 style as opposed to what we have now. You can go to the classic right there. That's kind of neat if you want to really save some real estate screen real estate classic with two columns which isn't much different than the windows 7 style and as soon as you click it it's right there for you as you can see so you just go ahead and click around and see which one you like and once again if you just want to do windows 7 style there it is done deal once you install the program you've got it pretty neat i mean it's a little better looking it's not quite windows 7 style it's got better colors opacity but again we did discuss earlier that you can go through all these settings here and really tweak down the colors and stuff like that. If you really want to get it dead on to Windows 7, you can actually do that. So have a little fun with it. That's all open shell. Main thing is everybody loves it just to change your look back around if you miss the old Windows 7 kind of style. And it looks good, right? There you have it. So go ahead and grab it. It is completely free. No nags, no upgrades, no nothing. Just... Uh, and once again, just remember, uninstall it if you change your mind and you want to go back to what you had to begin with. Piece of cake, right? All right, there you have it, guys, bottom right corner. And you can click subscribe if you click on our logo. It's over here somewhere. And we thank you for watching, as always. See you.